What's up, fam? Welcome back to some more Hogwarts Legacy. We're back with some more. This episode, we're coming out and going into, um, I guess, our first open world experience. We did a couple side quests as soon as we got out. Um, and now, I think we're about to pull up and mess some dudes up. Because uh, there's a woman that needs some help. Whatever. We'll see. Should be exciting. So without further ado, let's get it. All right. And just like that, we're back in the dark outside spookiness. Uh, we have a main quest to go ahead and continue over yonder. Um, last episode, in case you missed it, it's some woman screaming for help. So only good they can come from come that. This way. Think. Excuse me, sir. I have no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be so... <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid Oh, shit, fam, you done <laughs> fucked up. Ow. All right. So those fellows were beaten up now too. <gasps> what is that? Oh, watch the light go out of your eyes. Oh my God. Duelist. Uh, the collections section of your field guide. Whoops, has been updated with a new enemy type. You may learn valuable insights on enemies. Uh, yeah, whatever. Oh, shit. Can't dodge that. That was a rude awakening. Oh, fuck, bro. I'm just not ready for that at all. Bitch. All right. That was my fault. Not as good as it could have been, but we did it nonetheless. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Nora Treadwell. I am. Like Laquan Treadwell. Excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor, hears what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service, historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. 
That started me thinking. What if the mallow sweet is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. All right, this is all I very a interesting. I full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. All right. Uh, seems like a very side mission esque thing, this trunk. but it's yes, something it plenty, wants me to do. Even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Oh, okay. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Interesting. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Oh, uh, I can get off this? Looks like... Incendium. Fallen's beard! The flames make the pyre sink. That's it, baby. That was too easy. That was too easy. Hell yeah, what do we get from this? Give me something good. The fuck? What a day. There's only two of them in the whole game? <laughs> nah. I think it's like once you complete two of them, you get a little. Uh, I take it we can call it success? Item. We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. All right. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Hell yeah. Holy shit. Just like that. Well, that's what magic can do for you. Different challenges offer different rewards. Complete. All right. That's all goody. You can just pause the video and tell me what that said. Appreciate it. All right. Looks like we got no. All right. <laughs> Jesus. Slytherin. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Fig. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Black. All right. To go... Talk to this fella's scope. Holy hell. This place is massive. Um, uh, wait, hold on. Zoom. What? Huh? What the fuck? Uh. Huh? Huh? What the fuck? It doesn't let you travel here? Oh, I'm so confused. Oh, if I go to the Hogwarts map. Interesting. Um, the main quest is right there, allegedly. So, sure, we'll go right here. Go ahead and take you guys with me. Um, I also discovered... The loading screens aren't nowhere near this long. <laughs> uh, 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 I think it's just because my computer might be, I don't know, you know, like, you know what I mean? I don't know. Because, like, the load screen takes forever. But it's also really choppy, so like, I imagine just my computer's struggling. But I mean, it, it comes out fine, you know. 
It's just it, it takes a little long. It's all good. It's all good in the hood, baby. All right, let's go ahead and take care of this main quest. The grand staircase is where we are at at the moment. How lit? Hello. Now I need to go down. Hold on. There we are. This is sick. But yeah, man, having a lot of fun playing this game. Super dope. Um, allegedly, hold on. Hold your horses. I just get the one? Wait a minute. There's got to be two then. Man, don't do this to me. Don't hide the second one. This is the second one. Oh, there's the first one. All right. So, we got a 15 plus two. That's 17. So, we need a six, which is, that's two, that's three. That's four, that's five, that's six? What the fuck? Some sort of lizard looking thing? All right. Easy enough. That thing right there. Look at these split. We got a, f a tree. And what is that? An eight? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that's a nine. Uh, so that's a three and a nine, which makes 12 plus seven. Uh, yeah, it gets 19. So plus seven. If the last one's nine, that octopus looking thing. That ought to do it. Rebellion. Oops. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, baby. All right. That was well worth it. Only two measly chests. And all I got... You're kidding, right? That can't be right. That's uh, indeed right. Wow. We may never spend time doing that ever again if that's what's going to be in them. The first one was well worth it. This one was not worth it at all. In my opinion, we actually haven't checked inventory in a little bit, actually. I don't think. Actually, I'm wrong. Um, whoa. What? Oh, it's because it's level 12. It requires me to be level 12, that is. And we are level 11. We are nearly there. But not quite. All right. So we're pretty far away from this main quest, which is whack. Because I could have teleported there. And been there quicker, allegedly. Ah, yeah, look at... Okay. Where are the two things? There's two. One's going to be over here or something. What the fuck? Oh, over here. All right. So, we got an eight and a one. That's a nine. So, we need a foe, which is a bird-looking thing. I don't know. Oh, look. We got a potion. Uh, that one. Then the second one. We got 13 plus... What is that? Three? Uh, yeah, 13 plus three. That's six. S wait, what? Um, 16, rather. So we need a five, which is... Uh, yeah. That, like, that thing. Yep. Right, chat. Let's go ahead and open that. That was quick and easy. Lickety split. Is it going to be worth it? We'll see. Um. Oh, hold on now. I will go ahead and check that out real quick. Like, um. Oh, yeah. Look at that defense. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Well, I guess that's. I can't say that wasn't completely worth it. Or useless, rather. Excuse me, sir. Let's get to it, man. Enough of this bullshit. I'm trying to get this main quest crack a lacking. Where do I gotta go, bruh? This fucking castle? Jesus Christ. Via duct entrance. Alright, man. Don't nobody care about none of this shit. I'm just trying to make it to the fucking area. My objective. Oh, I missed it. Good God. Where am I going, bruh? I'm just getting further and further away from it. It is making me mad. 
God damn it. We are so far away. Jesus Christ, man. This is what the game's like all, all game. I'm sick of it. Already. Skirt. Open up. Open the door. Excuse me. Oh, I saw that. Fuck yeah, baby. Hell yeah. Free, quick and easy. 80 XP. This too? What's this? Interesting. Interesting. What? What? Over oh, here. Like, these don't even look like doors, bro. Just rock right by them. Should we change our robe? Oh, wow. It's in this place, huh? Interesting. I didn't even know this place was back here. But, hey, whoa, hold on. Rebellion. Right, T.O. Now we can go ahead and get on with this quest. Scrope knows about that book you found. Is it missing something? Scrope does not believe it is safe to speak out in the open. Scrope has left another note. Across bridge among the circle of rocks. Take care. Tell no one about Scrub. this. Sure. All the way over yonder. We gotta go, of course. And it is in a pile of rocks. Look at the bird. Can I pet the bird? Revelio. Nope. Alright. Oh look, a chest. What the fuck? What the fuck? Is this a thing? What the hell? Oh, wait. Huh? Hold on now. What? Alright. Um, I guess. Uh, I guess that's why this is here. Right there. Appreciate it. Whoa. That wasn't cool. Almost there. <clears throat> Head for the pumpkins just down from the stone circle. Look inside one of them. You may be able to help poor... Oh, broken-hearted school. Pumpkins? Ah, I think I know just the place. Why is this one here? Making me think we need it. Need it for something. Um, yep, just gonna run down here, I suppose. Hello! Oh, my leg! Just testing out fall damage. Won't take too much. Pretty pleased with it. All right. Just been running around this whole episode so far. What's good, fam? Rebellion. Huh? What the fuck is this? Oh. Must be ex exceptionally curious by now. Meet Scrope at the water's edge by the broken the docks. Hmm. This had better not be a trick. Facts. Oh! Hello! All right. We're chilling. What is this? What is this? Is this one that I've done before? Oh, it is, right? It has to be. Yeah, it's already open. Has to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this shit? I don't even know. But I'll take it. Moonstone. I got five of them bitches. I got five on it. What's good, fam? Where you at? Thank you for coming all this way. The name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. Been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be followed. What's this all about? It's mentioned the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Happy to help, especially if you can shed light on the book. Scrope is grateful. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. 
I'm sorry to hear that. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured Black Family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honor her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help. But when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. How did you know that I'd found a book and that it's missing Might as well pages? Ask all these Scrope in the other hand Quite tells, curious myself. I'm good at staying out of sight. Scrope hears and sees many things in the castle. Scrope knows how to keep secrets. Tell me more about this treasured ring. Oh, it's adorned with the Black Family Crest. The headmaster would be pleased with Scrope for returning it. How did you injure your ear? The Blacks have a tradition of decapitating their house elves when their service is no longer required. One day, dear Apollonia was understandably frustrated with Scrope and got a bit too eager with... Scrope was able to convince the sweet girl of his value and now views this small injury as a reminder of her good heart. It seems this may help us both. Um, I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast and place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. Scrope will wait right here for you. Best of luck finding your pages and the ring. Send you.
Revelio. Just noticed I was muted the whole time there. That's unfortunate. Um, anyway, just had an intense battle with all those fucking things, which is tragic. Uh, them things nearly killed me. Can't believe I was muted there. That's unfortunate. Um, anyway, carrying on. I was really struggling there. I didn't know what I was supposed to do against them. Uh, but I guess... Where is it? Collections? Um, I don't know. But I guess we should go ahead and... Uh, do that old thing to them, to these thing, bob, thing of bobbers, uh, whatever. Sure, got these right here, conjurations or something. Yep. These are enemies. Okay, so where is old boy? What the fuck? Oh, these things. Um, these campus files please all the buttons while attacking, recovering. From their attack lunge. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, that's stupid. Um, yeah. Wow, okay. Well, you give me a. Revelio can help you find them. Oh man, can't imagine running into a bunch of them. That would be a whack as hell. Ah, uh, to force spells. Oh. Um, we have like, oh, what the fuck? Just think a slice of toast. That's cool. Uh huh. Challenges, that's what I wanted to see. We have some stuff, right? Exploration. Hell yeah. Oh, we need two of them. Oh, that's why. Uh, we got one for combat. No, we haven't. Uh, ew. Interesting. Oh, we got this. Hell yeah. Kill, killed five of them right there. Jesus. Uh, all right. Should be good to go go I believe all right we know what we're doing so let's go ahead and continue on can't believe I was muted that whole time that is embarrassing I just recently started muting my mic I just tend to forget what can you do oh, oh this is what he was Why talking about I need a piece of toast I suppose that's where it goes all right <laughs> Hell yeah. Bought a munch on a piece of toast. It's good stuff. Hell yeah. Investigate the grotto. Could it be a visitor? What the fuck? <laughs> ah. The name's Richard Jackdaw. I was a student, just like you, about a century ago. How in the world did you find this place? A house elf named Scrope sent me. Said I might find a black family ring here. Ah. Sorry to say I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, it was to no avail. I thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. 
but she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. Jesus Christ, look at these options. I'd like to have those pages if you don't mind. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So, I followed the map to what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And you see what happened next. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to find the pages. <laughs> How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. A penchant? Bottles, a suits pension? of armor, what whatever's sure to cause the most chaos. He dropped them after a particularly aggressive romp through the library. Why did I need the toast to get in here? Oh, that was Apollonia's idea. Seems some squids love toast. They should have taught you that at Hogwarts. I think I could guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After that, I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking. All right, so I right, go here, go here, go there, go here going on, which is all good, I suppose, because what can you do? Um, but what I'm curious about, this fella said he was a student at Hogwarts, what, like centuries ago, some X amount of centuries ago. And he went to go do something over here, found this cave, and he died centuries ago. And you mean to tell me we're just going to pull it up on his dead body right there? <laughs> I mean, I guess he was being dramatic, saying it's going to be tucked into his waist coast. Waist? Oh, wait, what? Why do we got to go to Scrope? What the fuck? Hello, Scrope. Thanks to you, I was able to enter Apollonia's grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there, Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. Chuh, that boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, what of the Black family ring? I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. <sighs> Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to house elves. Poor guy. <laughs> he just wants to do some good for his man. And we couldn't come through for him. Uh, but yet again, nothing we could do for the little guy. So it is what it is, I suppose. All right, so now I imagine what is this fucking map it shows me, bro? Uh, yeah, hang on, I just want to go see my quest. Uh, interesting. Uh, I guess we gotta give it some time, and it'll pop up on where we're headed next. And there it is, nine hundred. I need to learn the disarming charm. Alright. Um and what is that? <laughs> and what is that exactly? Um uh, oh, this right here. Um uh, can we do that right now? It's it's daytime, right? That'd be pretty cool, I suppose. Three hundred meters away, bro. You're kidding. You're kidding. Please. Please, like I have such a hard time telling what the fuck it is. 
Like this, yeah, that's, this is, yeah. Oh, this is it, okay. All right. Go ahead and take you guys with me. Been a bit of a longer episode, but it's all goody. We're gonna go ahead and finish it up with that. Um, this class, I mean, you know what I mean? Finish it up with that, and then we're gonna pick back up next episode, continuing on the main quest. That is, unless something, some interesting side quests pop up and pique my interest. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Obviously, that's how this game is going to go for me. Going to focus main quests unless some side quests pique my interest. So far, there haven't been... I, I don't feel like I've been too overwhelmed, but... Shut up. Um, but... Oh, I can't attend class? It's not time for class? Shuddy, yeah, it's Shuddy, it's time, bro. What you mean? Oh, all right, hell yeah. I was gonna be so disappointed. She was like, gonna tell me I couldn't come to class yet. God damn. Oh, shit. Man, whatever, come on, man. It's my turn. I'm the star student. What? Just like that, class is over and I've learned the new spell. Let's get it. Huh? What? What? You're kidding. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. That was Pay hella weird. Attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Hell yeah. Spell casting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Hell yeah. Oh, it's an attack? Like an offensive spell? Good Hell yeah. Work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Um, I'll do it one time for the one time. Uh, a damage, yeah? Okay. Wands and weapons from most enemies revealed. I'm also deal damage to all enemies even if they do not carry a weapon. <sighs> Interesting. Um, I mean, over Lumos, I guess. Right? Because I don't really use that, that too much. Uh, so, yeah. Expelliarmus. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Leviosus may save your life. Accio. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Leviosus. Accio. Incendio. That's just so satisfying. Sorry about it. All right. That's going to have to do it. That was hella weird of a sequence to go through. But nonetheless, we did it. And we're on to, hold on, the Forbidden Forest. Oh, requirements. I thought that was like a reward type thing. Anyway, we are on. Oh, hold on. So we got to go to the world map. This is where we're heading. Uh, this is Forbidden Forest. We're going to go ahead and fast travel, but... We're going to pick back up next episode. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you guys for joining me. Hope you guys are having a good time with this series. I'm having a lot of fun playing this game. As to be expected, because it's honestly a great game. But that's neither here nor there. We'll save all that for when we finish the game. And that was a quick uh, little loading screen. So this is where we'll be picking back up. Heading into the Forbidden Forest should be a fun time. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. And I'll see you all at the next one very soon. Peace.